What's going on guys? Combs here back again on another MLB The Show 20 Diamond Dynasty video. The 7th inning program dropped in. Well, the 7th inning program we have completed. Three brand new bosses. Two brand new bosses. And today we're going to go over the tips and how you guys can complete it fast. We have some new inner workings to my method, which you guys make sure and check out at the end of the video. But before we start the video and make sure to leave a like down below on this one grinded this out real hot real late last night subscribe if you guys are new on the road to 50,000 that being said let's go ahead and get into this one so this program you're gonna have to set up differently than you have the last two the reason well at least the last two because the reason why is um yeah you have the Nelson Cruz but you can't use Nelson Cruz or the Signature Series players in the event, which is what a lot of people would do. Some, uh, some certain dishonorable few of you, uh, you right there, I can tell, boost it. But the majority of us uh, uh, grinded and sweated those games out real hard on uh, the events. But you can't do it. You, you can't use them. I think that's a pretty bad uh, setup by them at that point so you're gonna have to find some different ways to get points so again the ones that you guys should always be doing is uh of course if you guys got the voucher that's gonna get you a lot of the progress there you don't have to get it with the method that we're using it is uh, very very fast you're gonna get it done very quickly so you don't really have to get it obviously it's gonna save you multiple hours but you don't need to spend like the I think it's like 260k the signature series players I'm pretty sure there's five free ones the Hoffman's free new houses free um, and then if you guys picked up like the Sandberg the Jackie you guys are pretty much already gonna have five so obviously make sure and do that go ahead and collect it you have the award series Nelson cruise at the moments uh, you know do a couple moments then play uh, versus the Mariners on all-star none of the moments I found too difficult again we've talked about this tonight's end um, if you guys are having trouble hitting some home runs go on directional hitting and just with Nelson Cruz point out your left analog stick to left field and all you have to do is power swing and time it up at that point on these low difficulties it doesn't get much simpler than that and of course utilize the dashboard method on this one if you do need so otherwise it is pretty straightforward and self-explanatory play them on all-star and uh you're gonna get the nelson cruz now you can try and go and get a get him in battle royale because it is on all-star difficulty it is going to be a bit easier but um i was watching coogs and he was having a grand old time trying to do that strat so i don't know if it is uh a GDQ recommended for a speed run for completing this program but you know to each their own we're gonna see uh, maybe try one or two drafts if you get lucky uh, you know playing on all-star with not that great of pitchers there's a good chance you can probably get the home runs that you do need for Nelson Cruz and if you want to roll the dice and go into rank with signature series players do that for sure just I didn't want to really like tank my you know record as flawless and perfected as it is uh then of course we have the shark map challenge again for the conquest again just make sure and capture the a's in three turns the giants in one turn we went over this yesterday in our video all pack locations up at the top right you just go up here to the giants they're not going to move out from that two right there and uh play uh well don't play it uh, simulate it you're pretty much gonna have to play an all-star regardless uh so just cue that up against the giants and then once you get that done work towards the a's and then it's really up to your own discrepancy how you want to go throughout the rest of the map so that stuff is pretty obvious of course that's going to get you a good chunk of the way there um, if you were to have the voucher that is going to give you 75 95 115 up to 145 if you don't have the voucher then of course it is going to be uh I think only 70 i believe we did the math correctly there and the showdown's going to be 40 so that's going to get you up to 140 or 215 uh which is where your dailies come in hopefully you guys have been stacking those and uh making good progress uh i do still recommend events for those i needed a stolen base it's not hard just have like some uh some speedy guys towards the top get a hit steal a base pretty easily you're not going to face the most elite competition on events right 
now of course since not a lot of people are playing it especially because there's no new rewards and then get those done i do want to talk about showdown for a little bit of course because we're not making dedicated videos to this uh you're going to face walter johnson always in your final boss so you should always be taking bryce harper he is much better than frank thomas when it comes to just facing off against right handers so you should always pick him first matt carpenter usually is the guy you want to pick again uh being that you are going to you will face burley as your mini boss but uh, you have to just score one run in nine outs. If you can't do that, going lefty on lefty, you might as well uninstall application. I'm just going to be real with you. There's no sugarcoating beating around the bush. I'm just telling it how it is. And then, of course, just draft accordingly to how you really like. Uh, of course, I always recommend lefty versus righty because uh, it is going to help you. Walter Johnson, he's not too tough of a pitcher to match up against, or at least he wasn't for me. Uh, you know, he will throw lot of strikes he will dot you up with that sinker especially so uh you will kind of have to watch out for that one not at least i found particularly hard i think i lost one of them because i wasn't really paying attention i was um uh, eating dinner during the time so i was uh, multitasking was not able to um completely conquer both tasks all at once um but yeah Walter Johnson is not really too tough. You shouldn't have too much issue with him. He has four pitches, a four seam sinker, two fastballs. Then, of course, he has the curveball and the changeup. So, not too much variety there. Just wait him out. He's going to throw kind of hot. It is veteran difficulty, but again, if you're experienced with Showdown, it shouldn't be too difficult. Now that we got that out of the way, I'm going to talk about uh, pretty much my final tweaks to my two controller strat, my two controller method uh, for franchise, for grinding program stars. Um, and it has been, I think, perfected. I don't think there's really anything else you can do about it. Again, you might be able to do it in play now. I just do it in franchise. It's easier. Plus, you can rack up some cool stats. Uh, I don't know if, and not even, I don't really even care. I'll... Well, that's sure unfortunate. Anyways, again, franchise mode, like I was saying, again, you don't have to mess with sliders at all settings. Uh, I usually have it on, like, Hall of Fame or Legend. Again, it's not really going to matter for this case and purpose, and I do believe it gives you a bit more XP if you're going to have it on a higher difficulty. I'm still working super hard to try and figure out a loophole. If there's any sort of automation that you can get behind this uh, to where it is kind of a la to the uh, retro mode kind of glitch where you, of course, didn't really have to do anything. You kind of just set it up and then you were good for the rest of the night. At this time being, you still kind of do have to at least press a couple buttons. I know it's not the most... Uh, uh, hard work, it's not going to be too stressful on you. You're not going to blow out your back doing this, but, you know, obviously at some point I would like to find another way where you can be completely oblivious. You can actually sleep while you are doing this. You might as well be dozing off, though, because you can easily just watch, watch a nice Netflix movie, show, whatever it may be. Uh, but what I was talking about is how I perfected this. Really, at this point, this is how you do it. So, I always just go in with the games where my, this controller, my number one controller, the team I'm using the franchise with is going to be the home team. As you can see, I'm using controlling the twins, and uh, this is really all you have to do. We talked about this part last time. You switch teams uh, onto, you're not controlling any team, go over to quick manage, simulate until you are pitching, go back to team select, now select the Tigers, and this is what I found out. You, I'm not, you got the controllers busted, you guys know, uh, if, if I didn't rage so much, that might not be the case, but what I found out is you can just do this as much as you want. You can go, and I was doing this last night, I was going into like a hundred runs approximately each inning. It will kind of get messed up down there, sometimes it won't say how many you actually have. It'll like reset back to uh, double digit numbers opposed to the triple digits where you actually are. Uh, but if you're scoring a hundred runs a game, I think, a uh, hundred runs an inning rather, I think you're usually getting approximately like 3,300 3, XP 
per inning. Again, I'll throw the calculations up on you know how much you're actually going to get per hour, per game, per inning, and so on and so forth. And this is really the best way possible because it's going to diminish load time. It's going to diminish all the variables and you know finicky have to go uh, go in and out, quick manage. Uh, you don't have to do that. You can just continuously do this, shut your brain off, and be completely focused in. All you have to do is intentionally walk, and I know it's not too different from the last time that we did have it since we made those uh, perfections, since we made those uh, you know quality tweaks, uh, but this is, right now, I still think the best way to get program stars, and a lot of people still probably haven't heard of this method, so especially now that we can't have the event grind, which usually would be a nice free 35 40 program stars this is going to come in really handy for a lot of y'all and uh this goes for xp as well it's not just regular program stars and especially now that we have some big boy rewards we have a set one a set two home run derby pack we have a ducks elite on the quota uh in the uh you know, rewards past the 300, the boss pack of the 7th inning program. If you guys want to go on and grind for this, this is pretty much the easiest way to do it. It's not fun, but if you guys have a long Netflix queue like me anyway, you might as well just knock two things out at once. Multitasking, like I was doing with my good old steak in Showdown last night. Um, so... Yeah, pretty much where I was at after I finished all the regular missions that we talked about. Uh, I think I was at about 2.30, and it took me, I want to say, four or five games, and uh, didn't take me too long, I want to say, probably like three to probably about four hours after that point to get 70 stars which i don't think is too bad at all again you know the proper calculations will be up on the screen for y'all but uh really easy you don't have to worry about anything you don't have to even look at the game you can have your monitor shut off for all i care you can be in another room if you don't have a tv uh if you don't have a second screen if you don't want to watch on your uh you know iphone Android your cellular device you don't have to and go out in the living room and go watch uh, you know, Frosty the snowman go, uh, go watch a good old film I don't really care it doesn't really matter because you don't have to be focused as long as your controller can reach as long as you can reach the L1 the circle and the X button you can grind this for days baby and that's pretty much gonna wrap up this video so I really just don't recommend going for like the wins in BR slash events or whatnot because uh, the franchise or two controller method is just going to be much faster highly recommend you do that opposed to uh, trying and getting those wins possibly losing setting yourself back in progress even if you won all 10 straight it's still going to be considerably faster even than showdown as well from doing the two controller method uh, so yeah do this and get closer to Frank Thomas or Bryce Harper or Frank Thomas or Bryce Harper. Let me know who y'all are planning on picking. Let me know how close you're all. And uh, yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like down below. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. Thanks and